Bed Z has got a lot of good uh, sustainable design, sustainable technology incorporated into it. Uh, whether it be the recycled uh, rainwater systems, whether it be the wood uh, chip gasifier, uh, it could be the car sharing scheme, it could be the types of insulation that they've uh, put in there, the integrated photovoltaics in the windows, the sophisticated system of recycling the air and uh, obtaining the energy uh, from it. So technologically it's gone really quite far. Even the materials that were used to build it, much of them are recycled or green building materials. The, the steel in it is, is from a railway shed in Brighton, or at least some of the steel in it. Uh, the wood is from locally uh, sourced green oak, for example. We can't do much better at the moment than what Bill Dunster's tried to do with his design. The problem, I think, with it is that even people who are green-minded and sympathetic are going to find living in those particular sunny caves quite different and quite challenging. Um, those, that building is incredibly airtight, and when you shut the door, you feel it. Uh, and if the heat circulation system uh, has a problem with it, or something else, you, you're going to have to get used to a different kind of a technology. It also, these sunny caves, they're, they're designed in a very different way from the traditional two, three, four bedroom terraced house. And that takes some getting used to. So in putting all these sustainable technologies together in an excellent way, he had to, in the end, compromise on some aspects of traditional British uh, style terraced house living. And I think time will only tell uh, as to whether he's going to be successful.